Good morning and welcome back to the channel. So I wanted to give an update on my portfolio because I've added some things and I have consolidated in some areas. For the most part, it's pretty much the same, but I have some new subscribers. So I wanted to go back through this really quick. Okay, so I have a Gemini account and I have an eToro account. And so that, that's how this is gonna be broken up, but I have a spreadsheet on the third page where it's a lot easier to read and I'll just go through one by one, uh, the layout of my portfolio. Okay, so this is my Gemini portfolio and it's ranked by the top investment. So I have, have let's see, 2,600. And this actually just changed because I just added like 150 each um, for a number of different ones, AMP being one of those. So 2,600, uh, 1,700 in Ethereum, 1,600 in Ren, 1,200 in Orchid, about 700 in Polygon. And then I have, you know, about 550 in Aave, 450 in Alchemex. 430 in Bitcoin and so on and so forth in synthetics and anchor network here. And I'm probably going to start adding significantly more to anchor network. I just added some this morning and I, I like, I like what they are doing. And I think that there is, I, I want to get into that space as much as possible. That's a, another reason why I got into ICP. Um, but anything that has anything at all to do with, uh, web hosting services, I, I'm probably going to be looking at making investments there just because, I mean, that's the, you know, that's the foundation for the technology that we're investing in. So, I mean, in, any, any company that's looking to do something in that space, they have a solid team, good partnerships. It looks like they have, you know, you know, a general direction with where they're going. I'll probably look at investing in those type uh, blockchains. So, I have a few more that are down here below this, but they're not, you know, enough to amount to anything. So I just did not add them, but I did add to my synthetics and anchor position uh, this morning. So these have both come up. So here's my eToro account. Now, this is also top um, from the top down as far as my largest investment to the smallest investment. My stellar investments roughly 4,000 now. Uh, and then I have uh, some in Bitcoin as well. <clears throat> Algran, Cardano, Ethereum, Link, IOTA. IOTA has just been exploding. Like this number isn't even accurate. This is numbers from yesterday. And I mean, IOTA has just been absolutely exploding. It's doubled. Uh, my Ethereum purchase on here has doubled. Uh, my Cardano purchase on here has doubled since I put it down. Uh, so NEO, I've said in previous videos, I think that NEO is going to be the uh, the Ethereum-like blockchain of China, and that's why I invested in them. Zcash, which I'm kind of up on the air on Zcash and Litecoin, to be honest with you, but they are legacy coins, legacy blockchains, and so for those reasons, I did want to have some type of a position in both of those. Compound, I have more Matic on here, and then basic attention token. And then I also have, I think, one or two things below this, but again, those are, you know, extremely low amounts. Now, this gives the breakdown of my portfolio. And so right now my portfolio is roughly 25,000. It actually might be a little bit higher today, especially since I just added to it. And I've put in a little bit over 18,000 now. So I would say that I put in right around 18,000 and I've had about $7,000 worth of growth um, up to about 25,000 in my portfolio. So that's about where I'm at with everything. And this is the breakdown. So 4,000 in uh, XLM, 2,800 in Bitcoin and 2,800 in Ethereum. And this was something that like I've, I've gone back and forth with so much. Should I have gone heavier in Bitcoin and Ethereum or should I have just gone heavier in the altcoins that I feel like have really high potential. And, you know, it's like you could second guess yourself forever. And I, I definitely have. Um, but at this point, I feel satisfied with where I'm at with Bitcoin and Ethereum relative to the rest of my portfolio. Um, and I'll just continue adding like X amount each time I make large purchases moving forward. To be honest with you, my, my plan big picture is on some of these altcoins that maybe they overperform Bitcoin and Ethereum, just looking at swapping those for Bitcoin and Ethereum at some point in time. That's really my plan. I don't want to sell and then have to pay capital gains tax on that all, you know, on that altcoin and then, then turn around and go buy Bitcoin and Ethereum. I would just want to look at making some type of a swap on some decks. Um, and, and that's really going to be my plan moving forward. 
2600 in amp with the, this, this just changed because I just added a couple hundred to amp. Um, Algorand at 1700, Brin at 1600, Cardano. I put $620 in Cardano and it's doubled. So uh, OXT, I'm still very bullish on OXT. Here's the thing. If this is the new internet, which I believe that it is, Orchid is so far out in front of any other VPN competitor and privacy and security is going to be a huge deal in the future internet. I mean, it's, it's part of the reason why they're building a new internet is because there was no no privacy and security on this internet, right? So, and, and Orchid is so far out in front of the next competitor and it's essentially a marketplace of VPNs. And some of the VPN providers they have in their marketplace are industry leaders already in the VPN space. And they have additional functionality and I would say security features that most VPNs don't have. And I, the Andreessen Horowitz backs them. They have a tiny market cap. And I feel like that this is a great investment. I'm not getting rid of my ORCID at all. I am still very bullish on ORCID. And I think that it's going to go up exponentially over the next four to five years. I think that it will probably lag some of these other ones that are, are because of the nature of their application, they're going to have user adoption quicker than an, than an ORCID, like Polygon. Um, and I just actually added to my Polygon position as well. So 1100 on here, but I just added to it. Link at 850, IOTA at 600, my investment has doubled. I put in 300, it's doubled to 600. Uh, Ave at 550, Compound 500, Zcash 500, NEO 450, Litecoin, Alchemex, Basic Attention Token, Synthetics, Anchor Network, and EOS. EOS was the one that didn't show up on this screen, but I had that on there as well. I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of lukewarm about EOS. Um, I probably won't add any more to it. I'm um, not to say that I'm, you know, I just, I'm, I'm more bullish on a lot of other ones. And I just, uh, there was a few things that came out, a few updates that came out with EOS a while back. And that's why I put that position down. So this is what it looks like. Now, if I could, let's just say I could snap my fingers and get all of these um, tokens on my application so I could buy, these were the ones that I would want just off the top of my head. VeChain, XRP, XDC, Solana, Polkadot, Luna, Quant, and QuantStamp. Now, I, I wrote STAR and then ETH scaling solutions. That's because there are a number of ETH scaling solutions that I would invest in. Um, and if you're invested in you know, a scaling solution that you feel like has a solid ecosystem, a good team of developers, they have good partnerships, and it looks like that they're starting to pick up with user adoption, you know, knock yourself out. I mean, I, there's going to be, I said this yesterday, but I'll say it again, there's going to be scaling solutions, a number of scaling solutions that do very well. Um, because ETH needs a lot of scaling solutions, right? They're going to be, have to be able to support a very, very large user base. And so I think that scaling solutions would be a good place to look at, you know, good returns and just as far as investing over the next, you know, couple of years, as more and more people start coming on these platforms. Uh, but there, there's other ones too, like I'm sure I'm missing things right here. I just put this together really quick. These were the things that came off, you know, just at the, the top of my mind. Um, so I'm sure that there's other ones. I think Cello was one. Um, there's several others that I saw that I would invest in if they were just all available to me right there on my application. So I just wanted to go over this just to update you guys on everything. And uh, let me know if you have any thoughts in the comment section below. For the most part, I'm pretty happy with my portfolio, to be honest with you, I really am. And I don't know, I probably, I may have made a couple changes if I could go back and do it all over again. Um, but you know, given where I was when I started three and a half, four months ago, um, I, mean, I gotta go back and look exactly when I started investing but I only had like, I think like 2000 bucks or something. And to be able to go from there to just rapidly buying all summer long, regardless of what anybody was saying and to be able to get my portfolio to where it is today, I'm thrilled with that. And yeah, so market's looking good this morning and we'll see what happens, but I just wanted to put this out there. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Thank you everyone who has liked, shared and subscribed. Take care, I will see you in the next video.